Hey everyone, what's up? It's Rhea and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, I know you're out there, then you should subscribe too and give this video a like and we'll get right on into the video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a how to start a YouTube channel because I just hit my one year of being on YouTube on March 1st. That was when I did my orange makeup look. It doesn't seem like it's been a whole year, but it has. And I just wanted to tell you what I think is important to start a YouTube channel, how I started mine, and then I wanted to end off the video on like a one year recap to see where I am, to see what I've learned, and to see how my channel has affected me. So we'll just start with how to actually start a YouTube channel. So the first thing I think people need to know is that you don't need fancy equipment. If you haven't known, I've been filming every single video that I have out on my phone. I don't even have an iPhone. I have a Galaxy S9, so it's quite a few years old now. And that's how I've done all of my videos because it's what I have. I am rewarding myself soon with my first camera. Since I did make a one year milestone, I wanted to like give myself a pat on the back and be like, you earned this, you deserve it. So that's what I'm going to do. But like I said, I filmed every video on my phone. I just try to use natural lighting and if I can't use natural lighting I have these like bulbs that are supposed to go on a vanity and that's what they were originally bought for but I never actually attach them to my vanity so if I'm at my vanity I just kind of throw them over it or if I'm at my desk I just kind of throw it up on my vision board and that's how I do any like artificial lighting. I think if you have a phone and if you have windows, you can start a channel. So once you have the phone and the proper lighting, which is like I said, a window, what do you think I'm using right now? Then you want to start figuring out what you want to post on YouTube. And I started primarily doing beauty videos because the thing that inspired me to create my channel was doing makeup and I wanted to share my makeup, share how to do it, share products that I like, wanted to do all that. So I decided, oh, I'll do beauty videos, but you can choose to do beauty, vlogs, comedy, lifestyle, gaming, it's endless. And if there's an idea that you have for videos to create that hasn't been done yet, that probably means it's a good idea and you should definitely start doing it. Just because there aren't videos out there that are like the videos you wanna create doesn't mean that it won't get views or it won't become popular or that it won't perform well. If it's a new idea, generally those do the best to be honest. So don't be discouraged if you've never seen anything out there like what you wanna do. Figuring out what you want to make videos of. I don't think you need a super specific niche. I actually think that can kind of harm you if you're too focused on one kind of video. Maybe I'm wrong, but I realized at the beginning I didn't want to just do beauty videos because that kind of really limits your audience and isn't allowing for other people to see that kind of content if they don't like beauty videos. So I expanded from beauty to doing lifestyle content to doing content about engineering a little bit, like a tiny bit. I do vlogs. I just do whatever videos kind of come to my mind. And generally they're in the lifestyle beauty category, vlogging category, but I do branch out every once in a while and it's okay to do that and once you figure out what types of videos you want to create just start just start that is what I had to hear in the beginning luckily I had Brett to tell me to just start making videos but that is the reality of it the only person holding yourself back from making those videos that you've been wanting to make is you so you just need to start you need to put the first one out there it's gonna be crap mine was crap both of my first videos Crap. But it is a beginning and once you start then you'll just continue on. Once I started last March I just kept going. So just start. Especially if it's something that you've been wanting to do. I had wanted to do it for two years and I held myself back. So don't do that. Don't make my mistake. Just start once you have the idea that you want to do it. Your videos will get better. You will grow. And that's natural. Like that's what's supposed to happen. Your favorite creators started right at the beginning started at zero, started with their worst videos, and then learned as they went. So that's probably my biggest tip is to just start. 
don't hold yourself back. And something that comes with just starting is to do it for you because you're the one that wanted to do it. And don't worry about others' opinions. Don't worry about being judged or being scared of sharing it because it may be out of the ordinary and it's kind of less out of the ordinary now, but it still has like a weird look to it when people start something that is out of the box. But other people's judgments aren't going to help you and letting those have power is gonna hurt you. And you wanna help yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. Think about yourself and think about how you're starting this for you. Something else that is pretty important is figuring out a channel name, as you all know. Since you're watching my video, my channel name is Rhea Sunshine. I think it's just catchy. It's something my friends do actually call me. And I think it's something that is memorable. So that's why I chose to go by Rhea Sunshine. But you'll generally want to pick something that you probably won't want to turn on or change later. Just because if your channel does grow, you can turn it into a business, an LLC, all that crazy stuff. I'm not even close to that point, but it's a possibility. And you kind of want to think about it a little early. So think about a channel channel name that will be timeless that you'll want to keep around and then figuring out the profile picture you want something that looks nicely shot well lit will be eye-catching will be memorable so pick a good photo of yourself and then you're gonna want to create a banner which can be done on canva I'm a big advocate for canva I actually don't use canva anymore I've been using Photoshop just because I have access to it so I might as well use it but Canva is great. It has so many free options and you can create a banner on there and you'll wanna have your name or your channel name on your banner. You're gonna wanna have the type of content that you create. So if you go look at my banner, I have beauty, vlogging, and lifestyle, I think, on there. And then I would suggest putting upload days on there. So I upload Sundays and Thursdays, so I put that in my banner. And that's just so when people come to your channel, they will know exactly what they're in for. They're gonna know, oh, every Sunday and Thursday, I'm gonna have a new video, and it's gonna be a beauty video, a lifestyle video, or a vlog. And they know that the first click on your channel. And once you film a video, you're gonna have to edit it, which, Unfortunately, it's one of my least favorite parts, but it's inevitable. You got to do it. So I actually use Premiere Pro because my boyfriend's in film school. He has the whole Adobe Creative Cloud. So we share that. Thankfully, it like really saves my life. It's made me have like the top notch stuff right away. Forever grateful for that. But you don't need the top of the line editing software or anything like that. To be honest, Premiere has a lot of bugs and it kind of gets on my nerves. But besides the point, there are plenty of free options out there. I know people that they film on their phone, they edit on their phone because there are quite a few editing apps. You can also do iMovie if you have an Apple device. And I know so many creators use iMovie. Even big creators still will use iMovie and not use a professional editing software. One, it can be easier to do and less confusing, less options to be honest, but still gives you enough options to create the video that you want to with the different elements that you want. A lot of people use iMovie. I personally don't really know of free ones that are for Windows or can be used on Windows. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure you can find them. So there are plenty of editing software out there. And then to do your thumbnails, your banners, any type of digital art, like I said, Canva. And then something that is so, so, so important when you have a channel is to be consistent. And that means having a schedule. And yes, sometimes you're gonna have to miss upload days. I've had to miss a few and that's okay. And you need to tell yourself that that's okay too. You can't really beat yourself up if you miss a day because of anything, really. If you're having a bad mental health day, skip an upload, it'll be okay. I skipped Christmas Eve because I wanted to be with family. It's okay if you miss an upload. It's not like your channel is just gonna plummet because you missed one upload. But being as consistent as possible plays into the algorithm and that's how your videos will get pushed out to new people. And then the last thing that you're gonna have to do is to post and put it on your channel. And I can do a whole video on actually posting if you would want to see that. I don't know if anyone would be interested. I post right on the YouTube studio. I do the whole description. In your description, I think you should reiterate what the video is 
like what's happening in the video in the description and put any relevant links. So I put like my social links, I put my business email, I post any music links that I need to give credit to. And a really cool thing that I didn't know about until two months ago maybe, it's a tool called TubeBuddy and it just kind of helps you with tags and search engine optimization. And it just is really like a buddy to help you out to figure out what you should put while you're uploading. But that's pretty much the beginning steps or beginning advice for starting a YouTube channel. I can make more. Anything you'd want to know, you can put down in the comments below and I will make a video, but that's all I'm going to say for today. Now I'm going to talk about like my reflection on my past year and how my YouTube channel has been. I just kind of wanted to record this more for myself to see how I am after one year and then maybe I'll continue it every year. I just thought I would say within the past year I've made 67 videos, which is insane to me. 67? That's 67 different ideas up on my channel. I mean, some of them are vlogs, which is just like following your day, but I'm really proud of that. That, like I said, is more than once a week. I started out only doing one video a week and then when I moved in by myself back in August is when I ramped it up to two videos a week. I am at 151 subscribers, I think, as I'm recording this video, which is really cool. I think I've had kind of slow growth, but it's been consistent growth. So it's always been on the up. It's just a little slow and I'm okay with that. That's cool. I'm happy to have everyone that I have now and still if you think about it if you had 151 people in a room and you're like the focus that's weird that's crazy so 151 is still a lot of people and I'm still very proud and I guess this is a time that I can say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and everyone that has supported my channel because it's just mind-blowing that people are interested in the content that I create they're interested in getting to know me what? It's cool. So thank you to everyone and anyone that has subscribed, has liked, has watched, has done anything, commented. You all mean so much to me and just all those little actions that you do mean more to me than you probably ever would have known. So thank you. Genuinely. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> this is like a dream coming true for me. Something that has happened through YouTube is I've gained a lot more confidence, which I didn't even know would happen. I think I just stopped caring about what people thought so much. And I was just a guest on a podcast, The Brazilian Point of View with Anna. You should definitely go check that out on all streaming platforms. Pretty much the big topic was me being scared of starting a YouTube channel and how I overcame the fears of starting one and how I overcame the fear of judgment from others. And Anna had the same experience, but with her podcast. So we kind of compare our two points of views and they're pretty similar, which is weird and awesome, but definitely go check out that podcast if you're afraid of other people's judgments and you want to figure out how to not care. Anyways, YouTube gave me a lot more confidence. I'm more confident when I speak. I am more confident around new people, other people. Like I said, I care less about what others think. I just post it and I'm like, cool, I did that. And I don't care if I get negative feedback. I don't care if I get little to no views. I just am doing this for me. It made me realize that doing my YouTube channel was a step of self-care for myself, which only amplified my self-worth in myself. Even in how I look, I feel like I'm less critical of myself and watching myself and listening to my own audio. I think it's helped me not be so critical of myself and how I look and how I sound and how I talk. And I'm not perfect. I'm not 100% confident. I definitely have bad days, bad thoughts, but it has helped me immensely with knowing my self-worth and loving myself. And this is kind of adding on to that, but it has helped me learn so much about myself and embrace my creative side. I feel like if you would have asked me two years ago, am I creative? I would have said no. I'm not, I'm not creative at all, but obviously that's not the case. I am creative, I am an artist. It's weird to say that because I never would have said that before. 
but I'm an artist, I'm a makeup artist, I'm a content creator. I know how to edit, I know how to do minimal graphic design, and it's just helped me embrace that and be confident that I can be creative. And then the last thing that YouTube has really done to me in the last year is help me build a sense of community, a community with my subscribers, talking to you guys in the comments, getting feedback from you, learning about you. It has helped me network. I've met so many friends on here, which I also didn't expect, but I have like virtual YouTube friends and they are so awesome. I talk to them almost every day, just like going back and forth on Instagram, commenting on their YouTube videos. It just has made me feel less lonely in a very lonely time because I started my channel right before the pandemic hit and it helped me in the transition of the pandemic because I had a sense of community within my subscribers by then. And then when I moved alone, that's when I started to meet new people that are also in this community. So it helped me feel less lonely moving to a new city alone, living alone. It's just helped me feel not so alone. Take a shot every time I say it alone in the past minute. <laughs> So that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I really like talking about what I would have wanted to hear when I was starting my YouTube channel and to recap the past year that I've had on YouTube. It's just so cool. Like who would have thought that this would be my life? Not me, that's for sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed. Thank you for any support that you give me, my channel anything make sure to subscribe down below if you want to keep up if you want to see my future videos give this video a like if you did like it if you learned anything from it just give it a like just do it and comment down below is there anything that you have wanted to start for a long time that you're afraid to start or have you done something that you were afraid to start but then you started it and i would love to have a discussion with anyone that would like to talk to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys on either Sunday or Thursday, whichever one's next. Okay, bye guys.